As Professor Gray suggested, language needs to be learned in context rather than in isolation. Our next activities show how technology can help. For this activity, we will be using an artificial intelligence system called ChatGPT. There are many ways for teachers to use this system. One way is to generate a simple text, including the target grammatical feature. For example, the teacher can ask the AI system to generate a story for young learners by giving instructions such as the following. Can you provide a short story using present perfect tense for young learners of English as a second language age 10? You need to be aware that the system is not perfect, so the teacher always has to check and adapt the story as needed. You can also provide more specific instructions and ask the system to revise the text. For example, can you change this text to be no longer than 200 words? Can you provide longer or shorter sentences? Can you include the use of past simple too? Once the text is polished, the teacher can give it to the learners and ask them to underline the words that show the tense, talk about the topic of the text, and why a particular tense is used in each sentence. Another way to use ChatGPT is to serve as a role play partner for the learners. The teacher can provide a role play prompt for the learners to write to the AI. For example, the prompt may be the following. Can we practice present perfect? You will be the teacher and I will be a learner of English, age 10. Once they enter this prompt, the AI will start role playing and asking simple questions to elicit the use of present perfect. If the learners make mistakes in the use of the tense, it will provide corrective feedback. If they answer correctly, it will continue with the conversation to elicit practicing using of the tense. AI systems can offer many new learning opportunities for young learners, but it is important for the teacher to provide the learners with clear instructions and a prompt for them to use to start the interaction with the system. Teachers should also test out any activities before introducing them to the learners to learn how the system is likely to respond to prompts. We hope you have enjoyed considering how technology can make grammar learning fun for young learners and that you have found it useful. Make sure to explore the websites included throughout this lecture for more activities regarding other aspects of grammar. Get ready to see your students' eyes light up with enthusiasm as they dive into grammar with the help of technology. Let's make grammar as fun as it is important.